The man dismantles the missile and throws away all the parts, taking only one of the palladium metals inside. He reshapes the collected palladium into a metal ring, then fixes it to a mold, welds on a few coils, connects it to a power source, and a small arc reactor is complete. With a power output of 3 billion joules per second, Tony will need it to escape the cave. Tony designed a set of drawings for a battle suit and forged it night and day, finally completing it. By the time the guards realized what was going on, he was already inside the steel fortress and bullets from guns can't hurt him. Tony wore the suit all the way out of the cave and finally used the ejection device to escape from the terrorist dungeon. When he returned, he upgraded his work with a titanium suit made of higher grade materials and equipped with a real flight system. Finally, he painted the suit red and gold and named it Mark III. Tony wore it to storm a terrorist stronghold and rescue trapped civilians. But on his way back, he encountered the U.S. Air Force. 